Jack, I can't. No, please don't come any closer. No, really, I can't. Lucy. Oh, darling. It simply won't do. Not for either one of us. And I think you know that. No, please, go with me. Thank you. You have given me reason to hope. No, I don't think so. In fact, I've already decided to marry Arthur instead. I'm sorry, really I am. I see. Oh, please don't look so stricken, darling. Jack, where are you going? Miss Westenra, despite the injury you have done to my heart, I shall forever remain your devoted servant. Now, good day to Don't be so melodramatic. Mia. Oh, good afternoon, Doctor. What are you doing here? Jack, it's almost tea time. I see. Mina, I expect you in my office, 5.30 at the latest. Yes, Doctor. Of course, Doctor. Lucy, what have you done now? I? Not a thing. Oh, it's so unfair. Why can't they let a girl marry two men at once? <laughs> or as many as want her. You mustn't speak like that. I'll speak as I like. Not to me, you won't. I'm sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Well, what happened? Did Dr. Seward ask to marry you too? Yes. Imagine. Three proposals in one day. Three? <laughs> Surely that must be some sort of record, even for you. Oh, but of course. That silly doctor, always hemming and hawing, looking down at the ground. Perhaps, if he worked up his nerve, asked me yesterday at luncheon, I might have... Hmm. No. No, absolutely not. As if I'd ever marry the keeper of an insane asylum. Hospital! Call it what you like. Well, I think you're making a mistake. Dr. Seward is a genius. His work on zoophagia alone. <laughs> Zoo what? The act of eating living creatures. Zoophagiacs. Oh, what? <laughs> Dr. Seward believes that zoophagiacs might hold the secret Disgusting. of- I wouldn't want to hold any of them. I don't think you have anything to be concerned with on that score. Disgusting. Well, who's your third? My third what? Oh, yes. Just listen to this little bit of afternoon mail. Some sort of perfectly dreadful Texas oil man. Here we are. Dear Miss Lucy, it cannot have escaped your notice that for some time now I have entertained a very high regard for your beauty. Your grace and your purity of heart. I can't even bear to go on. And his name? Quincy P. Morris, Jr. Ugh, awful. And later he thinks he can impress me by talking about financial matters. Ugh, Americans. Simply appalling. Here, toss this adolescent dribble into the fireplace, will you? Reduce it to ashes. Marvelous, darling. The poke is over there. Use it. I mean, <laughs> really. One meets these gentlemen at parties, and then afterwards they assume that one is engaged. Arthur will do just fine for me. Thank you very much. <laughs> Why, certainly. Lady Godalmy. Oh, please. Spare me your sarcasm. In any case, Arthur's father is alive and well. Gone for much longer to hear of go on and on and on about it. Isn't that right, old chap? I'm a solicitor, not a doctor of medicine. Oh, what a bore. Arthur, darling, kiss me. Darling. Hello, darling. Good afternoon, Nina. Lucy. <laughs> Lucy. With what unsavory subject have you been soiling my fiancée's ears? She's blushing. I don't be so obnoxious. We've been discussing marriage. Hers or ours? Hers. Ah, oh, marriage. Now, what more unsavory subject could there be? <laughs> I can think of several. <laughs> Lucy, you're a bad influence. Of course she is. Why else would he have agreed to marry me? <laughs> <laughs> I've made up several millions. What? Uh, uh, Mina, shall we make it a double wedding? Uh, yes, of course. Right, Jonathan? Ah, oh, marvelous. Father would be thrilled. Why, he might even deign to come back from France for a little bit. Uh, darling, aren't we to invite that woman of his? Oh, oh yes, let's. I can hardly wait to see whatever ghastly monstrosity she'll be wearing. <laughs> Mina, it's already April, so why put things off any longer? I'm afraid we'll have to. What? Jonathan. Lucy, Arthur, don't let us stand in your way. But I'm afraid our wedding really shall have to be postponed for several more weeks. Weeks? At the very least. But why? Whatever for? Yes, that's right. Come on, old chap, fess up. What happened? I received a most important assignment. 
Mr. Renfield has ordered me to the continent. In fact, he's coming up very shortly to escort me to London. I have a berth reserved for me on the evening ferry, and I'll be across the channel by tomorrow morning at the sea and tide with me. The first step in my journey eastwards. Well, eastwards? To where? Transylvania. Transylvania? Transylvania. Isn't that somewhere near the um, Outer Hebrides? Oh, no, God, I'm sure it isn't. It's in the Carpathian Mountains. The Carpathian Mountains? <laughs> Goodness gracious, what will they think of next? <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> well, surely the word must have some sort of meaning to it. But I don't think it, it means the land beyond the forest. Oh, really, is that true? Well, how do you know about something like that? Silly boy, he and his grandmother was from Hungary, don't you remember? Oh, Hungary? Darling, don't be snide. <laughs> snide? <laughs> Transylvania is located in what is now Romania, and not Hungary. Ever since the Great War. No, you don't say. <laughs> you see, it's near the turn of the tides. Why don't you take Arthur for a walk over by the Abbey? Though we've all seen those ancient ruins a thousand times since we were children. Yes, but they always look so <clears throat> lovely in the afternoon light, don't they? I don't particularly think so. Darling, may I say, I wouldn't mind going for a stroll over by the tide pools below the Abbey myself. There's a little cave tucked away in there. Hidden between some nice big rocks, we could ease our way on inwards. Very well, if you insist. Give me a kiss. Oh. Mm. Wait just a minute. Darling, after we're married, I presume you'll stay on here at Whitby House. Well, kia somos mia domos tua, as they say. <laughs> My house is your house. Is that what they say? Uh, yes, of course. <laughs> Besides, father prefers beer wrist. Uh, his health, you know. Then what about my mother? Oh, I can't wait to deepen our relationship even further. Mm. <laughs> Nina, I want to know about everything when you get back from the asylum. Mm -hmm. Hospital, <laughs> later tonight. I'll find you. You'll be in your room. Of course. Where else might I be? <laughs> Come on. Okay. I'm right behind you. <laughs> Well, I'm sure they'll both be very <coughs> Jonathan, Miss Tripp, I don't want you to go. Mina, that is a completely unfair request. You know it is. Don't say anything. And don't look at me like that. I've only just joined the firm. I've no other choice. You've gotten used to living in this place, haven't you? Well. Let me make one thing quite clear. Unlike the future Lord Godalming, I have no intention of simply lolling about dependent upon Lucy Westenra's charity. But Lucy says this house is enormous. She doesn't mind if we. <laughs> Lucy says, no, no, absolutely not. It's time you listen to me for a change. In any case, even if I were willing to reside here after we become man and wife, there's another factor to consider. And what is that? Unlike you, I find nothing at all appealing about living next door to an insane asylum. Hospital! Dr. Seward! Yes, and as far as he goes. You know I don't like you working for him, either. Leave him out of this. Why? You spend most of your time these days going on and on about his half-baked theories. Mad. Don't say that. He isn't mad. His theories about potential consequences of active platelet incorporation via plasma transfusion, if one could simply reverse the magnetic charge in the red blood cells. Yes, that, that, that you see. Mina, have you forgotten our financial situation? Handling Arthur's affairs isn't enough. I've got to build a more influential client base. The Count Dracula, who? the continental nobleman whom I've been asked to visit. Mr. Renfield brokered the arrangement himself. Did he? Yes. He says the Count has many connections in England already. He's interested in purchasing Carfax Abbey. That old ruin? And a London townhouse. Oh, what for? <coughs> I presume in which to live. My commission will naturally be considerable. Naturally. And the Count has generously agreed to defray my traveling costs in their entirety. Uh, here. Listen to this. 
I received it yesterday. <clears throat> Greetings, Jonathan Harker. I am anxiously expecting you. After Vienna, the diligence will start for Bukovina. At the Borgo Pass, my carriage will await you and will bring you to me. I trust that your journey from London will be a happy one and that you will enjoy, enjoy your stay in my beautiful land. Your friend, Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> You act as if I'm journeying into the underworld. You are! What? My grandmother. She told me stories when I was young. But the old country, there are documented cases of survivors, witnesses. Of what and to what? Of defilement to Lucifer himself in what? human shape. Preposterous! Do you believe in the life beyond death? If life it can be so called, do you believe in the power of Satan? Mina! I had no idea you were this imaginative. In my grandmother's country, we say that there are things worse than death. That is why my family fled. We fled the curse. Curse? The curse of the vampire Nosferatu. Poor dog, Shergoy, Mortala. What? Have you gone completely mad? Demon, Helfing, Devil Spawn, those are its names. Lilith was its mother. It is Legion. Stop! Stop it! I forbid you to continue. Dr. Seward believes it is possible blood sustains- Women, be silent! I've had quite enough of these bizarre superstitions. Outrageous. Simply outrageous. I think that from now on, Dr. Seward shall employ less and less of your services, and I will so instruct Lucy. In fact, I think that you'd better pack up your things this instant and accompany me to Transylvania. He won't and I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I won't go there. Mina, I'm warning you. Take your hands off me. Then cease this outrageous cage warning at once. Do you hear? Shocking. Absolutely shocking. Now, I leave for Vienna tonight. I'll spend a few days there collecting the necessary documents from the present government, after which I shall take my place on the diligence as requested. At the Borgo Pass, I shall be met by the Count's equipage, and then Castle Dracula at last. What could possibly go wrong? Jonathan, please, I beg you. And since, evidently, you do not wish to accompany me on my long and lonely journey, I think that our wedding really shall have to be postponed for a considerable length of time, indeed. Jonathan! Oh, Mina, here you are. Uh, my dear, uh, do you have any aspirin? Uh, yes, it's in my purse. Uh, where? Over there, on the sofa. Thank you. I thought you were having your afternoon naps, Auntie. Uh, I was trying to, but uh, the scratching through the glass from the other side of the mirror, I, I couldn't sleep. <laughs> yes, Auntie, I'm sure. Uh, Lady Mary, would you like me to take you back to your rooms now? No, nothing. Uh, Mina, through the glass, there were... Black eyes, bottomless pits. Where is Lucy? She went out with Arthur, Auntie. Here you are. Thank you. May I have a glass of water, please? Oh, why, certainly. Jonathan, would you mind? Uh, perhaps I should go and get Dr. Seward. No. I think I will. No. No, no, no. Don't leave me. <laughs> Young man. I asked for a glass of water. I beg your pardon. Hmm. There. There you are. Thank you. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Oh, you are so good to me, Arthur, darling. Oh, I have such an awful <laughs> headache this afternoon. But where did your young woman go, sir? To find Lucy. Lucy? Yes, Lady Mary. Your daughter? You were inquiring after her just a moment ago. Don't you remember? Oh, Lucy, yes. You must remember. Remember to warn her. Warn her about the eyes. Remember that. Whose eyes? Oh, oh, oh thank out. God. I'm going to make this blanket outside. What? Don't bother with him. Silly little puffed up fool behind a pretty face. He's headed for a great deal of trouble. You 
Mark my words. Mummy, what are you doing out in my rooms? Ouch! Oh, be careful. I warned you this morning not to go down on those rocks. Oh, never mind that, Arthur. Help me to sit down, please. Uh, I'm so, so sorry, Ouch. darling. Oh, don't touch it. You will take care of it. Where is she? Arthur, why don't you get me a nice glass of sherry? That's a good boy. Mother, aren't you so sorry? Who's your child? Uh, Mummy, I have some wonderful news. Arthur and I are getting are married. married. Yes, I dreamed it. <laughs> <laughs> You were wrapped in a long, pale gown and veiled. He approached you slowly, with his arms held up. You must wear them all the time now. What? Uh, thank you, Uncle Leo. Wear them? Wear what? what? Uh, drink up, darling. It'll do you good. Thank you. <laughs> what were you saying, Mother? The white flowers, naturally. What flowers? Hawthorne, of course. Lady Mary. Here, look at me. Yes, that's right. <laughs> now, let's sit ourselves right down over by the fire where it's warm. Oh. Why don't you let me take that glass for you? Yes, that's right. <laughs> now then, what were you saying, dearest? The flowers will protect Lucy. Protect her from what? From him. From whom? Mother. Mother, are you all right? Mommy, uh, uh, Lucy, sit down. <laughs> Auntie? Auntie, can you hear me? Lady Mary. Lady Mary! Don't shake her like that. There we are. Oh, Jack, oh, thank God. Where's Jonathan? He went out. Jack, do something about Mother, will you please? Me, no, no, no. I've twisted my ankle, darling. Would you get me some ice from the kitchen? Thank you. Jack, hurry. Hush. <laughs> Pupils are severely dilated. Close the shutters. This fog is right in here. Yes, Doctor. Hello, your ladyship. Oh, hello, Doctor. And how are we today? Oh, we're just delightful. I heard you weren't feeling well. Only sometimes. Das Blut, you know. What did you say, Mother? Das Blut. Das Blut ist das Leben. What? The blood is the life. Uh, it'll rain tonight, don't you think? Oh, Arthur, quiet, please. Uh, Mina, in my bag, you'll find a small black case, please. Uh, yes, oh, Doctor. No, 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 I can't, I can't. Mina, never mind the ice. Arthur, please help me assist. Uh, yes, of course. Here, let me carry you. Then he told him Weidenschneider. 
I'm sorry, Auntie, we don't understand you. Then they told no fighting schnell. Oh, doesn't anyone here speak German? Sorry, I only know enough to read articles. For the death, you travel fast. Oh, Mr. Renfield. Oh, I got not to sue it, Mr. Homewood, sir. Sorry to have stopped. Ah, uh, it's nothing, old chap. How do you do? Oh, uh, very well, thank you. Uh, forgive me, I seem to have arrived at a rather inopportune moment. Yes, uh, afraid so. It's from Lenore. Uh, what is? Well, she's quoting. The quoting? You mean it's a poem? That's right. Uh, I believe it was uh, a German fellow named Berger who wrote it down about a hundred years ago. And where is then thy house and home? And where thy bridal bed? It is narrow, silent, chill, dark. Far hence I rest my head. Very good. Very good yourself. Thank you. Oh, I'm so tired all of a sudden. Uh, Mr. Renfield, you really must excuse us. We have to take her out of here. Uh, yes, of course. I mean, are you coming? Yeah, uh, we'll take the back staircase. So let's have closest to her rooms. Where is it? Yeah, follow me, Lady Mary. Why don't you just put your arms around my neck? Yes, there we go. <laughs> well, you go on ahead. I'll be right behind you. Mina, you coming? In a moment. Mr. Renfield, I want you to know that I do not appreciate you sending my fiancé on such a long journey with such little notice. Mina, we don't have time for this. Just a moment, Doctor. Jonathan, remember what I said. Said? Uh, about what? About the Nosferatu. Oh, what? Nothing, sir. No, <coughs> not nothing. Mia, I need you now, please. Very well, doctor. Nosferatu. <laughs> we were discussing uh, Transylvanian superstitions before you arrived. How were you? Yes, I, I'm afraid my fiancé has a rather imaginative mind. How does she? Uh, I'd watch out for that if I were you, Harker. Imagine if his women cause far too much trouble. <laughs> they certainly do. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, come on, old man. We better be off the counterweight. Uh, by the way, have you forgotten anything? Last chance. No, they already brought down my luggage. Um, is there anything else you can tell me about the count? Have you ever met him? Once. Uh, <coughs> I spent the two weeks in his castle after our first uh, contact. And that was many years ago, of course. I'm sure not much has changed since then. Uh, what is it like? What is what like? The castle. Oh, uh, Castle Dracula. <laughs> I just know you're going to love it. Uh, it's built on the corner of a high rock. Uh, quite impregnable on three sides, to the west a deep valley, then soaring far and away, and nothing but mountain fastnesses rising peak after peak. Uh, the sheer cliffs studded with ash and fall. Uh, it sounds rather desolate. Uh, only for those people with too much uh, imagination. Uh, uh, I just imagine a road going ever upward while you're and Scott in the Count's great black coach, draped with black velvet, festooned with carved dragons. Dragons? Uh, the emblem of the House of Dracula for almost a thousand years. A thousand years? If not more. And if you dare look out the coach window, you can see down the ribbons of water winding their way through the trackless forest floor hundreds of feet below. And then, sunset. Wolves howl in the distance, and night creatures come out to feed. Uh, wolves? Oh, our patrons are among the least explored parts of the Europe. Are they? Oh, yes. <laughs> On my last journey, uh, I never saw another living soul on the road. On and on it goes. It climbs ever up 
upward until you feel must reach out and touch the stars. Finally, wheels clatter on flat rock as you enter the courtyard surrounded by arched windows and broken battlements in a jagged line Jonathan Harker, you are welcome in my castle. <laughs> Please, uh, enter freely and of your own will. Thank you. Enter freely, go swiftly, and leave some of the happiness you bring. Uh, your things, if I may. It is late, and my people are not available. Oh, uh, why? Certainly. The room I have selected for you is not far. In the meantime, I presume some roast chicken, bread, and a bottle of the old Tokai will be sufficient, yes? Oh, yes, that sounds marvelous. I've had nothing but tin potatoes for three days now. <laughs> How unpleasant sounding. If you will excuse me for a moment, my friend. Not enter into the spirit of a hunter. <laughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> uh, please uh, forgive me. I am no longer young, and my mind sometimes wanders. Uh, please uh, do sit down and enjoy yourself. Uh, thank you. You are very welcome. And uh, please excuse my very poor English. No, oh, your English is quite. Fluent, Count. Uh, thank you. You are too kind. You shall, I trust, rest and remain here with me for a while, so that by our conversation I may learn the English intonation. Oh, uh, certainly. Thank you. You are too kind. And also, I must often be away uh, during the day, but you will, I know, 
Forgive one who has so many important affairs in hand. Oh, yes, of course, Count. <laughs> Some of the old tokaya, perhaps? Oh, yes, that sounds marvelous. It would be my pleasure. Also, uh, may I say as well, during the daytimes, you may go anywhere you wish within the castle, except where the doors are locked. <laughs> where, of course, you will not wish to go. Oh, of course. <laughs> Marvelous one. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Never tasted anything quite like it before. <laughs> oh, 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 excuse me, I, I'm terribly sorry, Captain. Oh, it was I, I assure you, I assure you, you are quite safe inside the castle. Oh, I, yeah, yes, I... I'm sure I am. <laughs> Ridiculous to be jumpy, I, I know. It's, it's, uh, it's just that, well, um, the incident outside of Vienna... The incident? Is... What incident was this? Oh, that's right. Uh, to excuse me, Count, you couldn't possibly know. Uh, I beg your pardon, my friend. Whatever do you mean? What is it that I do not know? And for what must I excuse you? I, I ought to have thanked you properly even before I walked through the door. Thanked me? For what? For my life, no less. Your life, you say? Yes, uh, your wire. Wire? I, I mean, your, your telegram. It came just in time. Otherwise, I, I might have frozen to death. Or worse. Oh, my friend, I find that very hard to believe. How is such a thing possible? Uh, tell me. Uh, my coach was scheduled to rendezvous with the diligence to Bukovina but we were forced to stop a few leagues outside of Vienna. Oh? Yes. The, the sun was starting to go down, and all of a sudden, my coachman simply refused to proceed any further. What? The swine! The swine! Indeed. <laughs> all peasants are at heart cowards and fools. <laughs> Remember that. What reason did he give? Um, he said it was wild. Walpurgis uh, Nacht, I, I think? Uh, yes, Walpurgis Nacht, an old German term. Oh, yes? Yes. Many of the peasants believe that it is one of the two nights when the gates of hell open up and demons walk the surface of the earth. It comes in late April. The other is in late October. And here, let me pour you some more of the wine, my friend. Oh, uh, thank you. It is my pleasure, believe me. There you are. Mm, truly marvelous. <laughs> so I have been told. Uh, Won't you join me? Oh. I am afraid that I can no longer drink Why? And tonight I have already uh, eaten, you understand? Oh, I, I see, yes. Oh, oh dear! I, oh, Kumis, how those wolves do howl! I, oh, Kumis! Old dog, look! Feed the seed! And you go young! Words of protection, my friend. Protection? From the old dogs? Ah, you have heard that word before. Uh, yes, uh, something Nina said, I think. Uh, Nina? Uh, yes, uh, my fiancé. Oh? Yes, she was telling me a little something about your local superstitions the day I left England. <laughs> superstitions, yes. The word or dog means demon in your tongue. A colloquial expression, of course. You know what people think of bulls. <laughs> and you have a fiancé. My congratulations, indeed. I did not know you were engaged to be married. Thank you. And uh, how long have you known this oh-so-lucky girl? Uh, since, uh, since childhood, uh, we, uh, we all grew up together around Whitby House, uh, and not far from Carfax Abbey, as a matter of fact. Ah, yes, Carfax Abbey. I had no idea it was so close to your residence. <laughs> oh, it, um, it would be. 
If I still lived at Whitby, uh, I'm in London now. Ah, London. <laughs> I can hardly wait to dwell among the lasses of your great city, my new English friend. So many healthy people. <laughs> <laughs> so much fine blood. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, your fiancé, does she live in London as well? Uh, no. No, she's staying on at Whitby House, at least until after we're married. She's staying with her friend Lucy. Uh, Lucy? Uh, oh, yes. The famous Lucy Senra. You must have read about her in the society columns. Uh, the uh, society columns? Imagine. She's the sole heiress to the enormous Senra shipping fortune. Nina's been her closest friend since they were little girls. I understand she is very beautiful. Many people seem to think so. I see. Uh, yes, our mutual friend, Mr. Renfield, was kind enough to arrange my passage to England on one of her family's vessels. Uh, the uh, Demeter, I believe. But do go on with your story. You were just outside uh, Munich. Yes? Oh, no, no, uh, Vienna. Uh, your coachman had left you alone at sunset. Yes, the swine! He, he ordered me out and threw my satchel after me. And what did you do? I, I remained by the roadside for, for some time. I, I was hoping some other vehicle would appear. But there was nothing. Nothing? Nothing at all? Except a forest and an overgrown cemetery. The, the, the temperature dropped. It, it began to snow uh, lightly at first, and then more and more. Yeah, how unfortunate. But it snows quite frequently in the Austrian mountains, even during the springtime. Uh, yes, I, I gathered that. Uh, eventually, I realized that I could no longer remain exposed to the elements without serious physical consequences. And so I, I left the roadside. Uh, to seek shelter in the cemetery. Among the dead? Uh, yes, uh, among the dead. I, I, I stumbled among the rows of graves in the snowy dusk. And then a wall of marble loomed up before me. A mausoleum? Uh, yes, uh, in a classical style. Uh, Dora Collins, I think. I see. And uh, there you took refuge from the storm? Yes. On the wall outside, I, I, I caught a glimpse of a, of a woman's profile, a card beneath a mass of withered ivy. And below her image, I, I saw an inscription. An inscription? Yes. Do excuse me, Count. I've only managed to pick up some tourist German. I think it said, um, Sei Grafen Dorlingen, Sei Saugt und Fallet The Countess Dorlingen of Graz in Styria. She sought and found death. The grave of a suicide, my friend. Oh, was it? Without a doubt. I, uh, I, I see. Uh, you know that the Countess's name seems uh, vaguely familiar somehow. Well, even as I tried to decipher the words, a sudden howling alerted me that I was no longer alone among the tombstones. Wolves? Yes, I, I dodged around the, the side of the mausoleum. There was a, there was a half open door behind a, a rusted iron gate. And, and something else. What was that? Uh, branches with uh, slender branches with, with white flowers is uh, high to, to the door. Uh, hawthorn. What? Uh, hawthorn. Uh, branches of hawthorn are supposed to guard against evil. So many of the peasants say. I, I don't understand. Some people hold that a suicide may rise from the grave to take further life as one of the undead. Inventions. Balder died. Oh, oh, do excuse me, Count. I, I'm terribly sorry. But you can't really tell me this. You believe in such things. A man like you. Even a man like me may believe in many things, my friend. 
even a man like me. And you must remember, this is not England. Our ways are not your ways. Uh, now, uh, do go on with your story. You were saying you had entered the dead woman's tomb. I had to. I, I knew the choice. The howling increased in boredom. By now, night had fallen. And I was without matches or, or a torch. And then, then they seemed to materialize out of nowhere. They? They. Them. The, the wolves. The, 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 the biggest one had a, had a shaggy grave pelt with the yellow eyes. Uh, uh, would, would you like to see the contracts for the house now? No, oh, no, no, my friend. There is no need for such haste between gentlemen. Let us attend to business matters later. And here, another glass of divine, perhaps? Uh, well, perhaps just one more, thank you. <laughs> it is nothing, I assure you. Uh, I understand it is a nice old house you have found for me, yes? Well, I'm not sure if nice is quite the word I would use for it, Count. <laughs> I beg your pardon, whatever do you mean? Oh, uh, uh, do excuse me, Count. I, 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 I'm terribly sorry, but uh, I, I mean that the house is rather large, and of all periods, and back, I should say, to medieval times, the extent of the grounds is considerable, uh, running all the way to the cliffs overlooking Wishby Harbour, and there's even a lake, and a very deep series of sub-cellars, and a private chapel. But uh, I must admit, the place hasn't been lived in for at least a century. It's practically in ruins. Ruins? You call them? Perhaps. <coughs> but I love the darkness and the shadows where I may be alone with my thoughts. It pleases me that Carfax Abbey is old and big. I myself am of an old family. To live in a new house would kill me. And after all, how few days go to make up a century, don't you agree? Oh, uh, I suppose so. Uh, what did you say this wine was again? The finest old Tokai, from one of my estates in Hungary. And here, have a little more. <laughs> May I say, I am glad as well that Carfax Abbey as a private chapel, as in ancient days. For we Transylvanian nobles do not like to think that our bones will lie in the same ground as the common dead. Oh, do I offend your also English sense of, what do you call it? Ah, yes, your sense of fair play. <laughs> but we the Cadies have a right to be proud. What devil or what which was ever so great as Attila, whose blood flows in these veins? Who was it but a foifold of my own house who crossed the Danube, beat the Turk on his own ground, and seized this castle for himself? Now this was a Dracula indeed. They said he thought only of his own power. But what good are peasants without a leader? Of what use is a leader without followers to command? Where is the body without the head? Ah, my fine young sir. Battle for battle, blood for blood. The house of Dracula boasts a record that you can match. <laughs> but <laughs> the warlike days are over. Blood is too precious a thing in this age of dishonorable peace. And the glories of the great races are as a tale that is told. <laughs> Forgive me. I am discourteous. I interrupt my guest. Eh, finish your tale, my handsome English friend. <laughs> what about the wolves? Uh, the um, yellow-eyed one, uh snarled and launched itself against the rickety gate. I, I turned and saw a flight of mossy steps. You were in complete darkness, were you not? Yes, except for the moonlight. How far down did you go? I, 
I thought all I needed was to make it down a few steps, but... But? To my surprise, the staircase proved far longer than I had anticipated. I, I lost count after about a uh, hundred steps. <laughs> How strange. <laughs> Why did you not turn back? I, I, I thought of going back. But then I heard metal snap and twist. I, I knew that the walls were through the gate. And then I, I, I realized that I could see my hands again in a sort of weird bluish glow that somehow wasn't light. The effect was no doubt but a phosphorescence emanating from the moss and lichens covering the ancient stones. Uh, no doubt. A fresh howling propelled me onwards. You are a brave man, my friend. It was either that or face the wolves. True. And so, you continued your descent. Yes. I began to wonder what manner of person would wish to be entombed in such a grave. <laughs> or who would wish it upon them. <laughs> Indeed. At length, I, I reached the, the final step and stood inside a crypt. There were about a dozen rotting coffins. And then a high-pitched squeaking startled me, and I, I nearly fled back up those infernal stairs. Even in the lowest crypts, a few rats gnaw whatever spare bones they can find. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I'm sure they do. By now, the booth fast, fast, uh, fast rents was, was light as day. It seems to be uh, emanating from a, from a smaller chamber to my left. A tomb within a tomb. Yes. I could have sworn it was not that as I entered the main crypt. Uh, and so you went inside? My only thought was to barricade myself in a safe hiding place. Prey always seeks to conceal itself from the predator. Does it not? Oh, really? I, I always heard it was the other way around. Anyhow, as I stepped into the side chamber, all thoughts of the wolves howling from above vanished from my mind. Hi. On a marble floor before me lay the body of a woman. Was she beautiful? <laughs> yes, she was. <laughs> she had pale, slender limbs and long black hair. So clear her features to ruddy her skin. I could only assume she was a, a recent retirement. Ah, what cruelty. <laughs> that such beauty could be taken before its time, at the height of its brilliance, and left to moulder in the dark for the nourishment of rats and maggots. Yes. I remember a faint smile seemed to hover about her lips. And then she opened her eyes. What? It's true. I, I know it. I saw. I bet such things are said to be impossible. She opened her eyes, I tell you. What did you do? Nothing. Nothing? Whatever do you mean? I, I seemed paralyzed, rooted to the spot. I remember. Her eyes were gray. Deep, severe gray, the lowering sky in winter. And then she sat up and turned her head toward me. It was only then that I knew. I knew what, my friend? And she was no longer human. Oh, I told me that she was a fool to entertain such notions. Did you? Uh, please, uh, go on. A scrabbling and a panting echo downstairs. One of the wolves had finally picked up my scent. And I was caught by the woman's gaze. And beyond caring, she rose off the pole and floated toward me. I don't believe it. I swear it's the <laughs> truth. As she neared, her teeth gleamed sharp. And then a flash of blue lightning exploded, throwing her away from me. I, I looked up and saw that someone must have known where she was and taken steps to contain her. How? Of branches with, with white flowers. 
the Hawthorne again. Yes, your peasants must speak the truth. Sometimes, my friend, only sometimes. Where were these branches placed? Uh, they were fastened to the ceiling all around the hall. The, the woman, or perhaps I should say the, the creature, hissed in rage and frustration. Then the blue light vanished without warning. Trapped in the dark between the wolves and the terrible she-demon, I, I must have lost consciousness and fallen to the floor. Uh, please, uh, may I finish off with that spill of that wine? <laughs> <laughs> of course, my friend. It is my pleasure. Um, you were saying you swooned away? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I slept for a time. Once I... I think I felt a, a warm rasp out of my throat. Did you? What was it? One of the wolves? Yes. I, I dared raise my lids mere fraction. Saw above me two great yellow eyes. I must have swooned again. Next thing I knew, I was, I was being awakened by sprays of wind driven snow and cries of, Hello? Hello, in the distance. But I thought you were underground. So did I. When I opened my eyes, I found myself piled up beneath one of the great stone columns. I assumed one of the wolves had dragged me up the stairs out of the crypt. But when I looked around at the staircase entrance, all I could see was a smooth floor of unbroken marble slabs. Or the dead travel fast. <laughs> That's for a poem, isn't it? Anyhow, as I stood there standing at the ground, I was trying to say I, I shrieked aloud. I thought that I had lost my mind, you see. When, when they found me, they, they told me I was clawing to one of the cracks and the slab screaming, Where is it? Where is it? Over and over again. And then I heard someone calling my name. Who? He was a guards officer leading a search party. Uh, yes, and? Uh, uh, I, uh, by now I was, I was rational again. And I, I asked the, the guards officer uh, how, how had they known where to look? Yes. Uh, my, my, my coachman. Uh, the same one who earlier had abandoned you. Yes. After he left, his, his horses panicked and bolted, <coughs> destroying the entire coach. Did they? Yes, apparently so. Uh, of course, the man had no choice but to report the loss. But the guards officer said that even as he entered his office, he, he held in his hand a, a telegram from you, Wayne, in which you said... Uh, Be careful of my guest. His safety is most precious to me. He is English, and therefore Adventurous. There are often dangers from snow and wolves and night. Lose not a moment if you suspect harm to him. Dracula, yes. I remember it well. Uh, what, what made you send the telegram in the first place? Uh, that I no longer recall. <laughs> A sudden impulse, perhaps, perhaps only a dream, a dream under the full moon. Well, I did not dream of being left behind by the coachman. I did not dream of spending the night in a mausoleum. I, I might have died or, or gone mad from exposure. So, you, you see, I have no doubt that I owe you my life. Oh, please. Uh, I have the bread brass. I feel rather unsettled. Yeah, of course you may, of course you may. Uh, here you are. Uh, may I ask, uh, you have told no one else this story? <laughs> no, no, of course not. <laughs> Who would ever believe me? I have already said, my friend, I believe in many things. Ah! What is it? Oh, I cut myself on the bread knife. Damn! What? You are bleeding! <laughs> it's, it's 
nothing, really. I'll, I'll wrap it in a serviette for a minute. That will take out. It's the, the, the knife is old and might be contaminated. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. It could keep you blood poisoning. Please, allow me. <laughs> <laughs> I assure you, it's the oldest remedy in the world. Stop! Jonathan! Keep away from me! Fool! Twice cursed fool! Close your mouth! Do not move unless I command it! Oh. Now look! Look at me! But you was! You say you owe me your life, Jonathan Harker, and indeed you do! I sure don't understand. We have much to accomplish together, you and I, if you will obey me above all others. What? No, no, I won't. Silence, fool! I told you, you are in Transylvania now. Our ways are not your ways. I wish to leave. Do you? Yes, at, at once. You may not. Why? Because, dear <laughs> sir, my coachman and horses are away by now, on a mission. I, I don't care. I would walk with pleasure. I want to get away from me at once. And your baggage? It doesn't matter. The center is some other time. You, you have the contracts you require. Not for a moment, my dear English friend, shall you remain in my house against your will. Though I am sad that you're going and that you should so suddenly desire to leave my presence. Here, let me open the door for you. <laughs> ah, no, 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 please, please make it stop. I can't stand it. Please, please. Descend. <laughs> please feel free to go at once, my friend. <laughs> no, 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 shut the door, shut the door, please. Then you prefer to remain here with me? I... Yes. I shall wait until morning. As you wish. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> Come to me. Please, please, don't, don't hurt me. Hurt you? Ah. My beautiful Jonathan Harker hurt you? Never. There are so many wonders and delights I would show you. Now, come closer. Yes. Good. Oh, very good. <laughs> Why? Why? Blood. <laughs> because, my friend, for the blood is the life. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, thank you. I'm afraid Father's death at the wedding was 
quite unexpected. Yes. And I always thought he was merely playing the game a bit. Well, in, in any case, did you find the captain's log? Oh, we did, sir. I have it. Right here. I'm afraid the documents in some detail Harker's apparent nervous breakdown. Nervous breakdown? What do you mean? Just listen to these anchors. Varnell to Whitby. Six August. Finish taking on cargo, nine large boxes of Fuller's Earth, property of Count Dracula. A cargo accompanied by the Count's English solicitor. He says the boxes are for scientific experiments. Nine August. Our sole passenger has some curious habits. He never appears on deck when the sun is up and will take nothing save extract of rare beef. The more rare, the better. At 12 August, through the Dardanelles, men nervous, passengers seen killing and eating flies in his quarters by the first mate. When asked why, he refused to answer. He would only repeat the strange phrase, for the blood is the life. Over and over again. Where have I heard that before? Zoophagia. What? It's zoophagia. We don't yet understand the origins of the syndrome, but the subject operates upon the delusion that the consumption of the flesh and blood of living beings will somehow guarantee personal immortality. Some of the victims even sink to the lengths of kidnapping, cannibalism, and murder. Yeah, but that's ludicrous. To a rational man, yes. Yeah. Redfield, do go on. No, thank you, sir. I'm 13 <laughs> August. Uh, while our passenger seems harmless to humans, I have ordered him confined to quarters and set a watch. 16 August. The passenger appears to have gone wholly mad, uh, found slipping the throats of captured rats and squeezing their blood into a glass. Uh, the raves all night long about blood to an invisible master of some sort. <laughs> Bizarre case. Yeah. Bizarre case. <clears throat> 17 August. An officer of the first watch vanished sometime between midnight and dawn. The passenger's guards swear he remained confined the entire night. No possible exit from his quarters except for a small port. 18 August. Two more men gone. Everyone blames Harper. Uh, they claim he brought the devil on board. <laughs> but they want me to throw him into the sea and claim he committed suicide. <coughs> However, I can do no such thing. The man is a British subject and not a shapeshifter, and I am not a killer. Instead. I have ordered him shackled to his stateroom wall. My God! His own shackled to the wall. As well as ours, like an animal. Or a slave. Or a criminal. Uh, what? Uh, well, there were a dozen men on board. They kind of all have gone mad and committed suicide at the same time. Uh, now, can I? I refuse to believe that Jonathan is in any way connected to these disappearances. How could he be? He was chained to the wall of his cabin. But how did he get off the ship? And where is he? right now. That, Mr. Renfield, is exactly what I wish to know. Where is Jonathan? Miss Murray. I ought to be Mrs. Harper by now. Is Lucy all right? I left her in Auntie's rooms. They're both fast asleep. Has she been unwell again? The same, Doctor. Uh, just like her mother. The sleeping tablets you prescribed have been a great help. Uh, may I say, sir, I was most sorry to learn of Lady Godalming's uh, indisposition. Uh, oh, all of us here at the firm hope that she returns to good health once again very soon. Thank you. Uh, you, you you're most welcome, sir. Uh, Miss Murray, uh, as for the situation with your fiancé, yes. uh, I do hope you'll accept my deepest regrets. Uh, all of us here at the firm are trying to do as much as we possibly can. Uh, may I say, uh, I have always held him in the highest personal regard. Mr. Redfield, I want you to know that I hold you fully responsible Nina, for this. Uh, calm down. Calm down. I will do no such thing. This man well, said Don't blame Redfield for this disaster. Jonathan accepted the assignment of his own free will. Oh, free will, was it? 
Does this sound like free will to you? What are you talking about? This postcard. It's the last one I received from him. For August. Dear Mina, in just a few days, the Count and I will leave Castle Dracula for England. We expect to be home again by September. I will be so sorry to leave the Count's marvelous castle. It holds so many indescribable wonders and delights. I do so look forward to introducing you to the Count. The Count is such a remarkable individual. Yours affectionately, Harker. Wonders and delights? We so remarkable? The Count, the Count, the Count, does any of this sound like Jonathan to you? Well, no, but if his mind was unstable... And why would his mind be unstable? You! What did you do? You and your Count Dracula, yes, what did you do to Mary, him? Mary, please, I assure you... And where you. is he? Where is this mysterious Count Dracula? Uh, travel by sea does not agree with him. Uh, Last I heard, he departed Harker at Varna and took a private car in the Orient Express. I believe he is in Paris at the moment, uh, but I understand he'll be returning to our shores in the very near future. How wonderful. I have many questions to ask him personally, Mr. Redfield. Uh, Miss Murray, I'm sure Count Dracula will be the most eager to make your acquaintance. Bradfield, give me the log book. Uh, if you wish. You have the ship's log? What does it say about Jonathan? Nina. Is that it's his given to me? I'm afraid Jonathan has become a zoophagia. <laughs> what? The captain's notes are conclusive. He was seen eating insects <laughs> and drinking the blood of rats. No. No, I, I don't believe it. We have no reason to think otherwise. Mr. Redfield, yeah? tell me, how long does it take to journey from the Bargo past the Vine? You've done so yourself, have you not? Uh, yes, I have. Uh, about, uh, as far as I can recall, about a week or so, uh, give or take, uh, there are no trains servicing that part of the Carpathians. Doctor, tell me, what's the first date on the ship's log? August 6th. Yes, and then? Why? What is it? The dates don't match. Or perhaps one of you can explain to me precisely how Jonathan was able to write this postcard from Castle Dracula on August 4th, and then be on board the Demeter by August 6th, a mere two days later. That is, if the journey takes a week as you said. This month. Please, wait, 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 wait. You didn't yeah. read us these entries. Oh, uh, what entries? These last ones, the pages are stuck together. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, what an unfortunate oversight on my part. Uh, never mind that. Here, Jack, let me see. Well, what does it say? Hang on, it's only partly legible. Oh, well, be careful, don't tear it. Yeah, half a moment. Aha, here we are. One September. Held up for a week in the Bay of Biscay due to unusually heavy fog and persistent swells. Weather turned foul just after Gibraltar. All remaining hands too busy to worry about homicidal stowaway or the mad passenger. Did you say homicidal stowaways? I knew it! I knew there had to be someone else on board! I just knew it! <coughs> what else does it say? God grant that we all survive this storm. What? What? No, that can't be it! That can't be the end! Are there other entries? Oh, wait! Look! Over there! What? What is she doing outside? You know, I thought she must be sleepwalking. Run out to get her. Yes. Oh, it's raining outside. Take this. Oh, thank you, Jack. I'll go with you. Jack, wait. Mina, please bring her back here at once. Yes, I will. What is it, Mr. Redfield? Yes. I'm afraid we'll have to resume our investigation later. If you don't mind, I'd like you to wait for my call at the hospital. Yeah, if that's all right with you, Jack. Uh, but, but Lucy, I'll she'll summon you if she needs you. Arthur, please. Jack, please. Mr. Ranfield, the hospital is quite close by. I have some biological specimens that may interest you. We may look at them while we wait. Of course, Doctor. Well, look at me. May I say once again how sorry I was in going up the ladyship's uh, condition. You're very kind, Mr. Redfield. Uh, no, 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 not at all. Uh, 
I think I'll keep it here overnight if you don't mind. Well, the, the Domingo's law book is a property of West Bend Shipping Lines, sir. Yes, and my wife is the primary shareholder. As a yes. trustee, I believe I have the authority the to... The law book is primary evidence in the police investigation. All the more reason it should continue to be kept here at Whitby House for the time being. Thank you, Mr. Renfrew. Of course, my lord. Arthur, I promise to call me. Yes, a... yes, I'll let you know if there's any word about Jonathan. I meant about Lucy. Uh, well, Lord, uh, perhaps we should be off. I need to share my umbrella. All right. Arthur! Arthur, where are you? I'm still here, Mia. Yes. She's with you. Yes, let us in. Hurry! Help me get out of the sofa. My God, she's so pale. Lucy? Lucy, darling, can you hear me? Wake up! Wake up, please! Shall I call the doctor? No, not yet. He's keeping Redfield occupied. Get us a brandy, will you? Yes, of course. Arthur. Arthur, that's you. Lucy, thank oh, God. I'm so cold. From her wrist. Oh, okay. Yes. So cold. Mia, please go find a blanket and a towel and hurry back. Yes, I will. Here's the brandy. Lucy. Lucy, darling, can you sit up for me? Here, drink this. That's right. Come on, man. Drink this. Tell us how like a good girl. What? What's happening? Why am I in the library? I was in Mummy's room. Hush. Hush, darling. You were sleepwalking again. That's all. Here, let me give this wet cloak off for you. Why was I sleepwalking? I don't know, darling. Do you remember anything? I'm not sure. Uh, uh, let me take that glass for you. Thank you. You? <laughs> darling, what are these? What? These marks on your neck. Marks? What marks? Well, these two little holes. Here in here. Don't touch them. I'm so sorry, darling. Do they hurt? No. No. Well, how did you get them? Ice. Ice? No. <coughs> I, I, I don't remember. Nina must have stuffed me with the glass when she wrapped me in the cloak. Uh, but these marks don't look that fresh. Please, darling, I'm so tired. Uh, forgive me, darling. Would you like some more brandy? Yes, 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 please. I brought these. Oh, good. Lucy, darling, can you sit up for me? We've got a nice warm blanket for you. Nina? Yes. I'll wrap her in the blanket. Can you get a fire going? Yes, of course. The fog. I'm so cold. Here, darling, let me wrap this around you. Now, darling, <laughs> do you remember anything about how you got outside? Well, I think that Mom... My mother was telling me a story, but then she drifted off. I, I remember hearing the foghorn in the distance, slow toll of a, a ship's bell. And there, was, there was a scratching. There was a scratching at the window. A scratching? But your sure, mother's rooms are on the third floor, darling. Yes. Yes, I must have been dreaming. Then all of a sudden, I was in my favorite spot. Where? crash onto the shore, watch the stars come out one by one, the moon rose, <laughs> and then what? I must have fallen asleep again. But I thought you were having a dream. Started biting at her throat. She screamed. He 
jumped up and shrieked at the sky and then ran off into the fog. The description she provided matches her precisely. Oh, my God. Uh, we're arranging for a search party. Dr. Seward wanted me to tell you. I'll come with you. It's so am I. No. But. I must ask you to stay here and watch over Lucy. But. No more buts. Mina, believe me, if it really is Duncan, Dr. Seward and I will see that no harm comes to it. I promise. If we can catch him. Oh, we must. He's the only one who can tell us what really happened aboard the Mater. Mina, I'll be back with you as long as you know anything. Lucy. Lucy, darling, can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. I have to help find Jonathan now. What? No, 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 please don't leave hush, me. Hush, darling, I have to. Well, Mina will be right here. She'll stay with you all night. Do you understand? Yes. Uh, so no, we'd right. better be off. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, uh, yes, darling? Give me a kiss. What? Uh, no, not now, darling. There is a time. Renfield, let's go. Uh, yes, of course. Lucy? Lucy, are you awake? Mina, what is it? Auntie, I thought you were asleep. I woke up and I couldn't find Lucy. She was outside. Are you feeling all right? Oh, I've never felt better. It must be that Mariani wine Dr. Seward prescribed. It's based on coca leaf extract. I've just had a glass. <laughs> but what was Lucy doing outside? Sleepwalking. Again? It's all right. You brought her in. She's resting there. No, no. You mustn't let her sleep. Lucy? Lucy, wake up. Do you hear me? Wake up. Auntie, wake don't slap her. Be quiet. This is life or death.
is unworthy. Leave her body for the dogs. Monster! Fiend! You are the redoubtable Mina Murray, I think. Foul creature of Satan! What did you do to Jonathan? Parker, he's mine now. No, I won't let you take yes, him! And, and just what do you think you can do to stop me, my dear? God will help me find a way, you beast! Beast! Ha! Miss Murray, I have had enough of your puerile name calling. Heart's right where you are. Now turn up round. Yes, good. Now look into my eyes, my dear Mina. Stay away! I think not, my dear new love. Love? Ha! That word is a travesty coming from your mouth. You yourself, you never love. And what do you know of love? Stay back. Get back, I command it, in the name of Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> do you think that little bauble can stop me? Foolish plaything of mortal vanity! Away with it! <laughs> on your knees, woman! I said on your knees! Do it! Yes, much better. Me Murray, you hope to thwart me? From now on, you will cleave to my faith. You will take my communion. And soon, you will come to me of your own free will. Never! My God, what are you doing? Silence! Silence! <laughs> uh, uh, Get your uh, filthy hands off me, God! Help me! Uh, silence, woman! Now, drink! Yes, drink, my dear new love. Yes, drink deep, deep. There, that's enough. For now. Oh, God, I'm clean. Do not speak to me about God, woman. For this night, your God is gone. You see, my child. Oh, Master. Open your eyes. Ah, my new beauty. Yes. Will you obey? Yes, Master, always. Then rise, my beloved. Rise. Satisfied in full. <laughs> Master, what is that noise? Our curves will hunt our handsome slave, Jonathan Harper. Come, we must leave this place. Of course, Master. Miss Murray, until we meet again, I bid you good evening. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
business in all my life. I know I'm not but a mortal woman, and a sinner as all mortals must be. I know I am prone to the sins of pride and of vanity, but must I bear this stain? Must I bear this corruption? Lord God, I can feel it. I can feel this thing's blood coursing through me. I can sense the Death Watch beetle. Oh God, is this your true will? Give me a sign. Give me a sign, I beg of you. <laughs> Jonathan? Hello, Mina. Stay away. Oh, Mina, you have so much to learn. Do you hear that? They're coming for you. Foolish woman, you will not come here. He commands them, but he controls the beasts of the earth. All those that walk on four legs or more, Disgusting. and those that fly, and those that crawl. Even now, his familiar helps lead your friends astray. <laughs> listen, listen to them. Jonathan, why have you done this? On board the Demeter, even while he slept, he sent me life. Flies and spiders, great big fat flies with steel and sapphire on their wings, and moths, big ones with skull and crossbones on their backs, and rats. Oh, rats. <laughs> Hundreds, thousands. Millions, and every one of them alive. All lives, all red blood with years and years of life. All these lives and more he will give us if we will bow down and worship him. Never! He has given you his blood. Stop it! I can smell it coursing through your veins. Stay away! Oh, Mina! How I envy you! So many times I have begged him, but in his wisdom he is out to filth me! Dear God in heaven! Fah! Your God says nothing to his power, for the blood is the life. The blood is the life! No, 
Never. I will not disobey you. Ever I can. I swear. I swear it.
Peter! Max! How many were there? No. Nah. There are only these ones here. Find the others later, Peter. Give me some of that hot. What do you want to do? Put a few branches into each one of the coffins. There isn't much time. Yeah, for what? Don't you understand? Dracula and his minions, wherever they are, they must be at their graves before sunrise. If Hawthorne truly repels the undead, then these coffins are of no use to them. Now keep moving. Yeah, what about the other coffins? Said we'll find them later. How far down do these subservice go? I, uh, I, I, I don't know, Jack. But, but I know that I've never been this far down before. At least not past the foot of the staircase. Lucy and I used to play hide and seek here when we were children, but we never dared. Hawthorne, shh. What is it? Be quiet. I don't hear anything. Turn off your head, then. What? Why? <laughs> Just do it. You're a demon. Oh, that's right. The why he wants us to do this in the dark is completely beyond me. But it isn't dark. Look. What? Look. I... I don't understand. Where is this blue glow coming from? There must be some sort of phosphorescence. Look around. It's getting brighter by the second. But why? Uh, <gasps> oh. Lucy! Arthur, oh, be quiet. But it's Lucy! It isn't Lucy. Oh, Lucy, I'm here! Shut up, you fool! Darling, I'm here! Arthur, run. Jack, it's Lucy! Lucy, darling, I'm in here! Shut up, you fool. <laughs> what do you think you're doing with that stick? It has to be destroyed. It's... No! No, I won't let you! Lucy! Lucy, I'm here! Arthur, don't get any closer. Kiss me, my darling. Arthur, stay away from her. Jack. Jack, my darling. Look at me. Lucy. Jack. <laughs> Drop those silly things, why don't you? There will be kisses for you both. Wait. Wait for me. Lucy, I love you. Kiss me. Love, kiss me. Get out of here! Tomorrow, we will journey to your fine city of London, 
we will dwell together in the cellars of the mansion I have acquired, and then we will hunt together, night after night, night after night, and each night after we feed, we will find someone worthy of joining our ranks. Soon there will be an army of the undead at my command. First London, then England, then the world. Soon the whole world will become the domain of the undead. We shall rule the human race, treating you like the livestock you are, and you will be helpless to stop me. Helpless! Ah, the earth shall be mine at last. Oh, mine! Ha <laughs> ha! We must begin! Yes, master, for the greater glory of Satan! <laughs> ah, yes, bring him closer, closer, yes, yes. Tests to make sure none of us are seriously injured. What about the bodies? We'll have to come back tomorrow when the sun is high, remove their heads and burn them. If that's all right with you, Arthur, I mean, after all. <laughs> 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 it is a ghost thing. Yeah. She, she's gone. Oh, Arthur, I'm so sorry. As am I. Thought I loved her. Thank you. Now please, can we leave this awful place? What are we going to tell people? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing! No one will ever believe us. Here's what we'll do. We'll come back, get rid of Jonathan's corpse. Nobody knows he ever came here. Then, we'll make sure Dracula's body is destroyed. And after that, we'll prepare Lucy for a proper burial. We'll have to tell people that her and her mother died of, uh, uh, what was it? Pneumonia. <laughs> Sudden pneumonia, that's it. What? Lady Mary's dead too? Yes. She died just after you were kidnapped. Oh. Dracula! May God damn him to hell for all eternity! Sure, it already has. <laughs> well then, I'll prepare the uh, death certificates and we'll hold the funerals in closed coffins. <laughs> Stay what? Now that we know the undead exist, we have to find them and destroy them. Dracula can't have been the only one. Yes. Yes, I suppose you're right. We may have to dedicate the rest of our lives to this task. Are you with me? <coughs> I need both of you. For Lucy's sake? Yes. For Lucy's sake? Yes. 
for Lucy and for Jonathan and Lady Mary and all others past, present, and future whose lives have been destroyed by this hideous curse. Whoever they are, wherever they hide, we will find those foul demons and we will wipe them from the face of the earth. I swear it. I swear it before God. Jack, do you swear? I swear. Arthur, I swear it. For Lucy. Now, please, can we get out of here? I can't stand this terrible place any longer. You need the way. Thank you. Follow me. And hurry. Sacred blood. At last. You, 
You mean the Count? No! No. Not yet. The sacred blood of the Lord of Darkness and the Lady of the Storm, they have given you the gift they once bestowed upon the Count many centuries before. They now are your mother and your father. I have seen to it. I, 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 I don't understand. Oh, you will in the fullness of time. Renfield, who are you? Who are you really? Who am I? <laughs> and no more than a servant. What? I serve the immortal ones who dwell at the left hand of the Lord of the Night amid the everlasting flames and fathomless shadows. For millennia innumerable I have served them to further their holy work on this mortal earth. As such, I serve the Count at their command. And now, I must serve you to teach you, to guide you, <clears throat> to protect you from those above and their world they represent that they will seek to destroy us. <clears throat> it's part of my task. I am permitted to walk beneath the sun wearing this human shape. <laughs> but come, come. your instruction can wait. You have been unwell. You are tired of mind and wounded of body. You must rest. You must rest while the light continues to its allotted spell. Rest where? Here! No, 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 not here. Uh, this place is no longer safe for us. I have prepared a safe haven where you may rest and recover some of your strength. One level down, there is a secret tunnel that leads to the weekly graveyard. When the moon rises tomorrow night, you may feed. I shall prepare an offering for you from which you may choose. And then our journey must begin. Journey? To where? Oh, we must leave this island at once and travel east over the sea and the mountains until we get to the Count's castle. What? Back to Castle Dracula? Oh, it belongs to you now, my lord. It does? Yes, my lord. The castle and all that it contains. Oh, my lord, there is so much for you to see and to learn. To accomplish. What the Count, in his. What the Count permitted you to behold is only the beginning, I assure you. And when we return to Transylvania, I may shed this mortal guise for a while after you have been sufficiently prepared. And then, oh, a wonder and delights awaiting you. Uh, the Count spoke truly about that. Are you ready? Yes. Yes, I, I, I think so. But what, what about Mina and my other friends? Forget place? about them. Do not concern yourself with individual mortals. They are beneath you. You have more time allotted to you than they ever will. They are not but entertainment and sustenance. <laughs> Unless, of course, you encounter one worthy of the gifts and death. Uh, 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 what is it, my lord? Uh, uh, so yes, hungry. Yes. <laughs> it is the blood moving within you. Can you sense it? Yes. How does it feel? It feels wonderful. Just like the Count said it would. Oh, thank you, and thank you. Oh, it is my duty to assist you, my lord. And 
My pleasure. Yes. Yes, I suppose it is. Uh, mm. Renfield, may I still call you that? It will do for the time being. Believe me, I have many names. Uh, Renfield. Yes, I, yes, what is it, my lord? I want. Yes, what is it? I want. I want more life! More life for me! Oh, and you shall have it, I promise you, my lord, for the blood is the life. The blood 